it's Nicole from Nicole Loves Nails. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is something that I have been looking for for quite a while. I have the part two to the Slipknot oh. Inspired Collection by Geeky Bees Nail Colors to share with you all today. If you missed volume one, which I uploaded last week, it will be linked down below. Definitely recommend it if you have not yet checked it out. So as I mentioned, this is part two. So I have five polishes to share with you all today. So this collection launches on October 23rd. So I've got the paperwork in front of me. So each polish will be available for $10 each. However, the Aphid Attraction Duo will be available for $17. If you pick up the full set, hi, just a heads up, the paperwork I received was wrong. The full set is $47, not $57. It will be $57 and you will also receive a decal sheet and a four ounce bar of glycerin soap for free. Also, volume one will also be available and you can purchase both collections together as well. If you purchase the listing that has volume one and volume two, you will get two sheets of decals, the Manny Bombs that were released in volume one, as well as the glycerin soap, and that will be a and that will be $97, not $107. $107, and that will include free shipping. Ooh, that's a really good deal. I demoed the water slide decals in Bruh. the volume one video, so if you missed that, again, link down below. Get in. Also, there will be timestamps down in the description box as well. Let's just get into the video. Sorry for that extra long intro. There was a lot of information. So this first polish is called And the Rain Will Kill Us All. This is inspired by the song Psychosocial and the All Hope Is Gone album cover. This is described as a deep and stormy blue bass packed with a peridot green micro flaky. And the Rain Will Kill Us All had an amazing formula. It felt slightly on the thicker side, but application wise, it was absolutely fantastic. The base color is like a slightly grayish navy base. I found that the micro flakies gave this a very slight greenish tone, but this is definitely like a blue base. The flakes in this are super, super small, so they will not dry down textured or be difficult to remove. Polish had pretty decent coverage in two coats, but it was just a tiny bit sheer. I feel like I was being a little picky. So I did use three coats for my swatches here. This polish does dry down dull, so you will want top coat for a nice glossy finish. And again, nothing in here dry down textured or will be difficult to remove, and I did not experience any staining. Next up is Don't Let This ah! World Tear You Apart. This polish is inspired by the song 19 and the entire mood of the 0.5 The Grey album. And this is also Geeky Bee's Ode to the Late Paul Grey. This polish is described as a gray crelly base with a gray and silver glitter as well as some subtle sparkle. This polish had a fantastic formula. Like the previous polish, it did feel slightly on the thicker side of normal, but this applied very smoothly, very evenly, no application issues. I thought the formula was fantastic. I found the gray base in this is on the darker end of the medium gray color spectrum and just slightly cool toned as well. The glitters in this are pretty small, so I don't see them being overly difficult to remove. They did not dry down textured at all, so I used one coat of top coat for this polish. I found this had really great coverage in two coats, but I felt like the base color could be built up just a tiny bit more. I was being very picky. So this will be a two to three coater depending on your own personal preference. I use three coats for my swatches. Next up we have I'm Finally Holding On to Letting Go. This one is inspired by the song Unsainted as well as the cover of the We Are Not Your Kind album cover. This polish is described as a complex purple jelly with an aurora shimmer, multicolor sparkle, and shifty flakies. This polish had a wonderful formula. I found it was slightly on the more sheer side in comparison to the past two polishes which were definitely more opaque. I thought that this one looked absolutely amazing. If you had asked me what was in this polish, I would not be able to answer you. Like I was staring and staring and staring, trying to pick out the individual components and all my eyes were seeing were like sparkle and some shimmer. This was just absolutely gorgeous. So this one is on the more sheer side. If you go in for thicker coats, I don't think you will have any visible nail line. I kind of went in for medium-ish thickness in coats. So I had a tiny bit of visible nail line at some angles. Nothing in here will dry down textured or be difficult to remove. You will want top coat for a nice glossy finish. These next two polishes are a part of the Aphid Attraction Duo, so you will have to buy them together. They won't be available individually. They are both inspired by the songs Vermilion and Vermilion Part 2. So this first one is described as a sparkly and slightly pearly 
vermilion polish with a gunmetal microflake as well as a touch of gold. This polish had a fantastic formula in comparison to the first two Krellies. This one is a little bit on the more sheer side but it does build up for full opacity in two to three coats depending on your application. This polish was exactly as described. I usually don't love polishes that are like a reddish orangey kind of color, but paired with the gold in this, I was, I really enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I was going to. Paired with the topper, I like it even more to be perfectly honest. Anyway, I swatched this polish in three coats. There was a tiny bit more opacity in three coats, but if you go in for thicker coats, this will be a two coater. And I also did not experience any issues with staining. And the final polish is called I Can't Make Her Real. This polish is described as a dreamy topper full of gold flakies, shimmer, and micro glitter. So I am swatching this one in one coat over my favorite go-to black by Heather's Hughes. This polish just looks so luxurious. I don't usually say that about a polish, but there is just something about a gold topper that just makes me feel extra fancy. <laughs> All of the components in this spread out very evenly and easily on their own. They do not dry down textured. You will want top coat just because this does dry down a little bit dull. So on my ring finger, I do have this polish on in three coats. You can tell it is pretty sheer. I would say this would be a really great topper over just any color, basically. Thought this one just was really fun, but I am a sucker for gold. I, I am coming to realize I just really like things that are gold. Beautiful formula, didn't feel overly thick at all, and it will not be difficult to remove. Yeah. That is everything. So like last time, I'm going to have two polishes that I'm picking as my top picks. One is my top pick because I just love the polish that much, and the second top pick is also because I love the polish that much, but also because I love the name. And so my top pick from this release is going to be And the Rain Will Kill Us All. I just love the base color in this paired with these little flakies. They just look so beautiful. I really like this one. I can't think of a polish that I own that's just like it either. It's just gorgeous. And my second top pick, based on the name, is Don't Let the <laughs> World Tear You Apart. <laughs> it feels so weird cursing on my channel, but I really like the chicken that I use for the cursing, so I'm gonna keep doing it. So yeah, um, if you don't already know, I love gray polishes, but I also really like the name. It's also pretty good advice. So again, this collection launches on October 23rd on the Geeky Bees Nail Colors website. Also, just a heads up, Geeky Bees now has a Facebook fan group, so if you would like to get your geek on with the rest of us, I will have that linked down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. It does help out my channel a ton. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic week, and I will talk to you all in the next video.